emissions of greenhouse gases and CO2 will have to be more than halved by the year 2050 if global warming is to be limited to no more than 2 degrees Celsius. Urgent action is needed and a new technology to capture and store the CO2 emissions from fossil fuels can help. Better to capture the CO2 and store it permanently deep, deep underground in old oil or gas reserves which have been depleted, then allow it to go up into the atmosphere where it will contribute to the problem of global warming. It has vast potential for reducing uh, these, uh, these emissions and making a big difference in the fight against climate change. In Schwarzer Pumpe, Germany, engineers from the Vattenfall company have built a 30 megawatt pilot plant to capture CO2. The testing program in Schwarzer Pumpe has been running for three years now and the results are extremely promising. We made our first experiments with this 30 megawatt pilot scale plant and it fulfilled our expectations. The process is stabilized. CO2 can be stored in carefully selected geological sites. In Ketzin, Germany, the CO2 sink program is testing, measuring and monitoring devices to monitor the safety of underground CO2 storage. The gas is injected at high pressure into a suitable geological formation where it remains permanently trapped under an impermeable cap rock cover stone. So the CO2 is like the blue area here and it will accumulate underneath the cap rock. So that brown one would be the cap rock and the CO2 Will, be, <clears throat> will not be penetrating the cap rock. So this is gastite, this is clay stone, and this is sandstone, which is permeable where the gas can spread, like you see here, and uh, it will then stay here in place. Underground, the CO2 is in what's known as a supercritical state, which means that although it's still a gas, it behaves like a liquid. A number of physical and geological processes mean that the storage actually becomes more effective over time. To monitor the underground migration of CO2, scientists are checking how CO2 reacts to heat, electric pulses and seismic waves. This, is, uh, this well bore is actually a, a way of monitoring. It's a monitoring device and we have three wells equipped with the electrical cables and the temperature cables to take a close look how the CO2 spreads in the underground. If present trends continue, fossil fuels will account for nearly 80% of the world's energy by 2030. But the emissions trading system should encourage operators of power plants to store CO2 emissions rather than releasing them into the atmosphere and buying emissions allowances. The new European Directive on CCS will help to define the framework that's needed. What the Directive is doing is putting forward all environmental issues that have to be addressed all safeguards that have to be maintained in order to make sure that the technology is going to protect the environment and not create other problems. CCS is also supported by many NGOs. Carbon capture and storage is part of the solution over the time frame until we have a fully renewables and efficiency based energy system. So it's not a silver bullet to solve our climate problem, but it's a part of the solution in our view. This new carbon capture and storage technology puts Europe in the vanguard of the global fight against climate change.